All right, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sick, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but in the last two days since I filmed my last video, I have come down with like some kind of cough or cold, and it's not been great. Tomorrow I'm meant to be going to Silverstone, which is the day that you're seeing this. Um, uh, we'll see where I end up actually going, because this is no bueno. But today's video is going to be an update on my Panda palette. It's been just over six months since I started working on this. This is the palette that I have been working on. So the way that I do Panda palette is I have two goals and the first one that I reach will end the, go end the game, basically. So it's either hit pan in every single eyeshadow or until I reach 1000 uses. In the, in the palette. So I have on my spreadsheet, I've actually made it much better than I did last year, where last year I just had it one number for each shade and I only had like the total number underneath. This time around I've separated it each month. So I have the totals for each month, for each shade, and for the total overall, which is, I think it's much more easier and a better way around. Yeah, so I do apologize, I don't look the best today. I did not want to put on a full face makeup during this video, so I apologize with my red sore nose. Anyway, let's get into it, let's get into the business. So, this is the palette. Now, as I start this project, this shade was already panned. I decided at the beginning of this challenge that I would try using this every single time I dip into this palette, which is every single time I wear makeup, because I usually use this palette as my base. So I usually have this shade and then I mix it with one of the others throughout the month. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd just see how long it would take me to use this and like see how we can get on. So yeah, the pan on this one has definitely deepened. I think the other more noticeable change has been this eyeshadow here. We hit pad on this in June, so relatively recently, not too far ago, we did hit pad on this one. It took me a total of 33 uses. The first three months I didn't have like a specific shade I was 100% focusing on that entire month. Then in April I started focusing on a certain shade. So every single time I wear or do my base I usually use three eyeshadows in this. The focus shade, then one of the other shades and then the shade as well. So this was the focus shade for three months from April to June and it's called Private Party. I'm now focusing on social light. So the dip is beginning to dip here. We are of course making this dip bigger in um, Gala. So for social light we have used this 18 times. We have used Gala 71 times because that basically adds up how many times I've worn makeup the entire year basically. <laughs> then we have got Mogul, which have used only nine times. And then we have Splurge, which we've used eight times. We've used Stunner, Stunner seven times, Snazzy Snip seven times, Epic seven times. We have used Glitzy seven times. And then Twinkle, we've used six times. Dazzle seven times and then Cosmo seven times, uh, six times even, sorry. So I have used this palette a total of 186 times in the past six months. Uh, this does include the first couple of days in July as well, of course. But um, yeah, so you can see how it's going. The darker shades in the middle row are obviously not as dipped as the other shades, but also unsurprisingly the uh, shimmery shades on the bottom row are more dipped because they will just naturally dip faster so yeah I'm pretty happy with this progress so far I definitely think we will beat the 1000 uses I think I'll be able to pan all of these 
which is exciting. Yeah, that's my update. Really short and sweet, I'm not feeling well. So really short and sweet, I'm not feeling great. I didn't want to talk for hours. Um, I'm loving wearing this palette actually. I'm so glad I rolled this one in to be my Panda palette. It is my kind of vibe. I do like the more neutral eyeshadows and it's been a great base to work with with all of my looks that I usually have been having with my usually I would look much more put together than I am today but I am feeling terrible so I'm gonna go edit this upload this and then go to bed super early hopefully to recover enough to go to Silverstone you can probably find out on my Twitter or my Instagram if I actually do end up going to Silverstone at the moment it's quite hit or miss we shall see but my throat is killing me all right i will see you guys next week i'm probably going to be posting a vlog on friday and then on sunday i don't quite know what i'm going to film or post yet that is a wait and see at the moment but there's definitely a vlog in progress as I mentioned, I think on Friday's video, I want to upload more vlogs this year because um, I've been not doing them as often recently, so I'm kind of doing like a continuous vlog um, and then I'll post them here and there when I've got empty slots and I think that's just kind of like a great way of kind of incorporating you guys in my life, what I'm up to, how I'm doing and all that fun stuff, but I'm going to go take my medicine and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!